Actually, the Queen was born on September 2nd, and um, although today is the 28th, uh, we celebrate her Queen's birthday today, our Queen's birthday uh, here in Hawaii. So she was a great musician, and she would have loved this festival because of the music that's shared with uh, everyone. Our Queen was one who loved uh, Hawaiian children and she set up this trust, the uh, Queen Liliokalani Trust. Uh, so all the property of her trust estate, uh, both principal and income, would be used for the benefit of orphaned and other destitute Hawaiian children living in Hawaiian Islands. So uh, thanks to the Queen, we have uh, uh, the Queen Liliokalani Children's Center, which is the program arm of the Queen Liliokalani Trust. <laughs> There's royal uh, royal court right here. This is the time of the Makahiki when our elite would travel from Ahapua to Ahapua district to district to meet their people, to talk story with their people, to share in in games of fun, to collect their taxes, which was given in the form of food crops that were produced over the year, and you could always hear them coming by the sounds of their conch shells the sounds of the chanting of the genealogy of that particular elite. <laughs> you just saw today was uh, initially was a um, mass hula which is uh, uh, about 500 ha right. hula halau dance to Eliliue, which is a, a chant about the Queen Liliokalani and uh, Aloha Wikula. We also had the flower drop uh, with the uh, Blue Hawaii helicopters and a lot of uh, orchids donated by uh, Floral Resources of Hawaii and Greenpoint Nurseries. So I just want to really thank um, uh, Ivolani Kalima and uh, Roxy Walton of the Culture and Arts Division of our main partners and, and we have a lot of other people that contribute to this event, all the hula halals and, and uh, all of the people that attended. So we just want to thank them for celebrating the Queen's birthday with us.